I really want a tree house. How's it going dudes? So today I woke up and I found this photo on Pinterest and then I remembered that I had a chemistry test in T minus four days which means that the procrastination cycle is gonna start so we're gonna paint this today. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm stuck. How do I get down? <laughs> I killed the person who invented dying! I screamed as the three-headed chupacabra chased me down the staircase. I was sweating buckets, a fountain on two feet. Forget the legs. I swung around, fork in hand, thrust upward and... Oh no, I split the beef jerky. Hi, my name's Johnny Cash, my printer sucks, and you're watching the Disney Channel. No, but really, was the printer on its period or something? Because the picture came out red. Who paid for this? Oh, I did? Well, it's still your fault. I think it's worth mentioning here that I still hadn't started studying for my chem exam at this point. I mean, did I really care about vapor pressure? Hell no. Just breathe in the gas like the rest of us and don't busy yourself counting how many molecules there are, dumbass. Like, you're really gonna do that? You're actually gonna do that? Okay, then just go in the corner and you can waste your time on your own time. Hi, welcome to the underside of my desk where I keep all of my dangerous toys and trinkets. I'm kidding, this is just where I keep my paint supplies. It's uh, two o'clock right now, as you can clearly see. I'm gonna start painting. How does this fit in here? You know, I haven't picked up a paintbrush in a very long time now that I'm thinking about it. So this could honestly be a huge failure, but we'll see about that. Anyways, I need to stop rambling. I'm getting hungry. I had lunch like two hours ago and I'm already hungry. Is it possible to just be perpetually hungry? Cause I think I have that issue. Okay, uh, that's it for under the desk talking. I'll see you guys every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at uh, 48 a.m. in the morning. So I hope you get a good night's sleep. You know, I try to not talk about things I hate on my platform because the last time I did that, someone on Twitter told me I was being insecure for disliking something. But you're gonna have to forgive me on this one. I had a dream last night that made me realize how much I hated Veronica Roth's detergent, insurance, and allergic series. I read those books in grade seven and I cannot remember a single thing about them anymore. Like, I'm trying to remember a phrase or something and literally nothing comes to me. It's just a discount Hunger Games. I feel bad for Shailene Woodley. Guess who finished when I... I did. And guess who's taking a break when they shouldn't be? Me! <laughs> Give me a man after midnight. Ew! I hit that note so well. Wow. Sorry, I remembered something about the detention series I forgot to mention. You know what my main takeaway from it was? If you take BuzzFeed personality quizzes too seriously, you might just get hunted down by Kate Winslet. I'm ravenous. So, um, while I was cooking dinner, the annual disaster, also known as YouTube Rewind, dropped. I don't want to poop all over something that I know a lot of people put their blood, sweat, and tears into, but I just find it funny how last year they said they listened to us and then gave us Lele Pons, and then this year they listened to us and gave us Watch Mojo. Like, what? Watch Mojo should sue YouTube for defamation. I feel like I've done nothing today. And it's because I have. So I'm gonna eat now. Please get out of my face. Thank you. It was Friday evening. I was still painting. The eyes were coming along nicely. The house was also beginning to become more lively. Mother Goose was milling around the main floor doing God knows what. My dad had just arrived from outer space and was about to eat the entire fridge. I had other more important and completely unnecessary things to do though. A nose for the lady. Yes, she didn't have a means to sniff. My mom was doing something to the windows. What? I don't know, but that's besides the point. You know, this was when the painting started to give me chipmunk vibes. I think it was the puffy cheeks, but either way, my condolences to the model in the photo because I've literally butchered her face at this point. Hey, it's a one for the price of two package. I paint you and you in return get your destroyed face and an appointment at your local plastic surgeon's office. Oh. Yes, Joanna. O would be correct. It was a whole negative 18 degrees freeze your non-existent boobies off kind of cold. I started my day off with the most disappointing protein bar I've ever eaten. It tasted like compacted vanilla protein powder. The other thing of interest that happened that day was that it was my mom's annual fight with the pine tree in our living room. That's right, my dudes. It's Christmas time. Get your Christmas lights, your sleigh bells, your seashells, and your demon from hell because St. Nicholas is really going wild this year. I, like I said, 
before, however, had more unnecessary things to do, like painting her massive forehead. This thing is colossal. Oh, she isn't Jeffree Star? I guess I have to give her eyebrows too. Like, gosh, you want a nose, a forehead, and eyebrows? You know money doesn't- You want eyelashes too? How greedy are you? And listen, you all know me. I can't paint eyelashes for the life of me. So when it started looking like a spider had bumped uglies with some fake eyelashes, I exploded. I decided to eat dinner to try to let off some steam and sure, it was good, I was fed, but it didn't take away from those abysmal lashes on the painting. On the menu, some white broccoli, green cauliflower, and a chicken booby. Meanwhile, my mother's battle with the tree was gaining traction. She strangled it with Christmas lights and had it in a chokehold, while I, the tortured artist who was also bloated from dinner, sat and watched from the sofa. Eventually, though, I decided to get back to work, but I had as much willpower to paint as a teaspoon, so I decided to just paint the background. It was one color and simple to do, exactly the kind of low-resolution activity I was capable of carrying out at this point. I got out my stinky acrylic paint and got to work. I I want to also say that this face on the canvas was starting to look a little bit like Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades of Grey. More like Fifty Shades of I Need This Painting to Be Finished. But at around 9pm, my mom killed the tree. Last Christmas, it gave us its heart. But the very next day, we slaughtered it and hung ornaments on its lifeless arteries. Obviously, I was mush at this point, so I procrastinated for a good hour by reading Percy Jackson. When eventually, I stopped and said, Maybe I should get back to work. So I did. I decided to just leave the eyelashes for now, so I started on her reflection in the mirror. One issue though, I hadn't drawn the proportions to the other face yet, and doing that when one side of your canvas is still wet is a recipe for painting disaster. Then it was Sunday morning. What happened at night, no one knows. I might have slept. But how does that explain the pine cones? I got right to painting her reflection though. It was here that it also dawned on me that I might have bitten off more than I could chew. If I didn't paint pretty much an exact replica of the face already on the canvas, it might end up looking like a bad case of two-headed snake. Talking about biting off more than I could chew, can we appreciate the fact that I have developed a new addiction to quest bars? It's honestly terrifying how many of these I can down in one sitting. I bought a box of 12 cinnamon bun flavored quest bars last week and it lasted me three days. I had intended for it to last me at least two weeks. What the heck? And the thing is, they aren't even that good for me. I don't care if this is too much information, but I farted the other day and it smelled like a cinnamon bun. I couldn't believe my nose. It was time for me to paint the hair, and if the eyelashes had been indicative of anything, it was that this next part was gonna be painful and had a 200% chance of looking like a fat pile of poop. So I did what any sane human being would have done. I threw caution to the wind and slapped paint on the canvas by the spoonfuls. The model has this wonky looking bun on her head, so I also had to be wary of the fact that she could end up looking like a broke 2010 Justin Bieber. I used every single brush I owned, including the ones with like two hairs on them. And guess what dudes, you know what? It didn't even look that bad. I know, it was like 11 p.m. and a painting was finally working for me. Sure, the highlights do kind of look like dandruff gone rogue, but you know what? I'll take it. We had one more fish to kill. One more nail in the coffin. Those dreadful eyelashes. What are we ever gonna do with you, Martha? No, really, we cannot have you walking around these halls looking like that. It is simply unacceptable. No child of mine is allowed to look like that. Oh, so you figured it out? Guess carrying you for nine months might have been worth it after all. I also ate a Fiji apple at some point. I'm on a mission to try every single apple my grocery store has to offer, so I'll keep you posted. If you're wondering why I'm eating the apple with a knife, it's because because I grew up with braces, so I never got used to biting into things. Now I have pathetic, oversensitive nerves in my mouth that will scream bloody murder if I bite into anything harder than a marshmallow. One could say that the hardest part of the painting was over, but given that I was unnaturally emotional from listening to melodrama for the past two hours and high on paint fumes, this last part felt like dragging myself through a desert of nails. Goodness me, I had a chem exam the next morning. Had I studied? Haha. <laughs> You're very funny. But regardless, the finish line was approaching, and I was running with my arms up, ready for the glory that I didn't deserve and I wasn't gonna get. And finally, at 3 a.m. in the morning, I finished the beast. 
here she is. You can take photos, but please, no flash because you might distract the painting. You can look, you can smile, you can gawk, you can yell, no one is coming to save you. This is the end of the line, I will kill you. What? So yeah, I did it. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's cool to see my progress since last year, at least in my eyes. Are there things I could improve on? Yes, I think color matching is still something I need to focus on and the hair is just practice. It also helps if I don't do this type of stuff at 3 a.m. in the morning where everything looks like a kaleidoscope on drugs. I recently watched a clip of Hannibal cooking some human lungs and this background music was playing in the background and I was just like hey that's free real estate so brownie points to whoever got that one but yeah that's it my dudes I love you stay funky stay spunky and stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one toodles